All right, guys, welcome back to another episode of the Forge Your Life podcast. Here today with your host, Richard Fu from richardfu.com and The Ultimate Man. And today, I have a really special guest, a beautiful being that I've just met like right now. And he is the definition of East meets West, right? combining the warrior with the sage. He is the founder of the Accelerate Evolution Academy and the Warrior Stage Group. Most of all, he has developed an interesting methodology here that he's going to share with us on the show and we're going to go through a demo of it as well. And that's what I'm really excited for. He is the accelerated evolutionist. Please welcome Satyan Raja. Satyan, good to have you on, brother. Oh, thank you very much. An honor. Looking forward to have some fun today with you and everyone who's listening. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. I know we had a good chat at the start. And so Satyan, for the people who don't know about yourself or your work, could you share a bit about that with us here? Well, I'll give you a snapshot. I started in martial arts when I was young, and I had teachers who were profoundly uh, enlightened, awake. Not only were they able to kick ass, they were also very conscious and loving and had a desire to serve humanity. So I, I was very fortunate to have that imprint growing up, and I continued to develop that in my life, through my whole life. And from there, I ventured into everything human potential, how we can improve our own life, and make a greater contribution as, as humans, as a society. So that's become my uh, passion, my obsession all these years. I've mm. been studying. I like to travel the world and study with the greatest masters of their individual feats and absorb. You know, I, I learned from Bruce Lee to absorb what's useful and to discard what's not. Oh. I love and, and on this show, I love Bruce Lee. i got to tell you, man. He's like my hero, right? And so... And so tell me about that then. So how do you know what, what is good to absorb for ourselves and then what is to, sorry, someone at the door, right? But so what, what to be discarded? Talk us through that, man. Well, you know, what needs to be absorbed, it's what's going to uplift you, what's going to make you move towards your deepest goal, your next passion, your next edge, your next vista. And what needs to be let go of or discarded is the heaviness of our own internal charges, you know, uh, fears, Mm -hmm. angers, upsets, weight, emotional baggage, heaviness, Mm -hmm. right? Feelings of inadequacy. I'm not good enough. That's the stuff that needs to be let go of. The Uh, door is ringing for everyone here today. The bell is ringing. Yes. Hang on one second. Yes, that's it. I got to go and go grab that. All right. (laughs) Absolutely. Nice to see you myself, even though you can't see me. Well, I mean, I can't see you. You can see me there. As long as it's not the tax man who showed up at the door, or ninjas, or uh, the, angry, uh, the angry boyfriend who found out what. And the package has arrived. Awesome. No idea what it is. Probably something awesome I bought. But yeah, so you're saying that you know, it's about recognizing what's going to weigh us down and letting go of that, right? And do you find that, you know, I'd love to understand. And old paradigms. Old paradigms too. Hmm. It doesn't serve you anymore. Yeah, and I'd love to dig into that about how you recognize that for yourself because I'm guessing this is a journey you've been going through and not just once, hasn't it, right? It's, it's multiple times you got to go through this journey of recognizing what is holding you down and other old paradigms. So talk us through one of those examples for you, man. Well, you know, there's a, there's a part in us and the way I see our deepest mission, I see it as evolutionary stages, leaps, right? Today's uh, breakthrough is tomorrow's box. <laughs> I love this. This is so important, right? Cause right. Yeah. right. So, you know, I had a dream of becoming a martial art teacher when I was mm-hmm. young. I could never imagine that it was so, it was like becoming an astronaut, like, you know, it, the impossible dream. And I worked hard at it and I became that. I'm condensing 10 years into like a few moments, mm-hmm. but you get what I'm talking about. Yeah, but yeah. then I thought that would be the end of my life that, that I would be that. But then I'd done that for so long. It's like those Russian dolls, Ukrainian dolls where there's the outside purpose, you live it fully. And when you live it fully, you'll enter the stage. How do you know that it's time to move on? Mm-hmm. There's apathy, boredom, no matter how much you will yourself up, no matter how much positive thinking or intentionality, you're just at a soul level. 
there's a discord between your soul and your mind. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you're using distractions like sex, booze, alcohol, craziness, whatever entertainment to keep you in the cycle so you're not feeling the desert really that, that you're meant to go into. Yeah. We try to avoid the desert, that low, that, that shitty feeling of, I don't know what my purpose is. Mm. Whereas the warrior's path is to enter that. And then whatever is not holding you there anymore, you've got to make that leap. Mm. And then it could be an intuition. It could be break away for a week, go into the woods, go camping, get into nature, mm. get in touch with the sage, the elements of wisdom and truth that are all around us, that aren't here, that are in our environment. Mm. And then when we destructure and, and, and um, gear down away from our doing this and we enter those natural states, then the sage, the wisdom within us wakens. Right. And then it gives us an insight. Okay, maybe you should be going in this direction. Maybe in this direction. Don't wait for it to come across the sky like with perfect letters. It'll usually come as an intuition or a hunch. The warrior then must act on it and make it happen. Even if you feel, even if your parents, your mom, your wife, your sister, your husband, your partner, your think, are you crazy? This is where the sage, you got to say, you know what? You're going to trust and be almost reckless to your conformity. Okay, talk us through that, man. Talk us through that. <laughs> There's a part of you that's always conforming. To everyone else? To, uh, or some standard or that you've got imprinted in you. Right, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. And so the courage is not to fight it, but to just say hmm, from a place of clarity, Say, okay, it's time to move forward. When you do that, there's an evolutionary energy that kicks in and the forces of the cosmos come to your aid. It's like synchronicity happens. But the uh, courage, it's that courage point. Uh-huh. And this is just so beautiful, man, because like as some of the listeners who know, right, something's, some huge stuff's been happening with me, Satyan, and I haven't been able to share with you. And it's kind of like you say, is that your, today's breakthrough is tomorrow's box. Uh, and I love that saying because that's what happened to me. It's like, you know, broke through and like, yes, yes, I love my life. It's awesome. And then at that point, you're saying like, there's something else here, right? It's like, hang on. I, what about that thing in the corner I didn't see before? What about that thing over there? And it's like the layers of an onion or the Russian dolls, right? Where you hit that new barrier and then like you crack through it. And it's like, oh my God, there's a whole new space that I've never known. Right? Everything about me, right? Exactly. And you want to ride that wave. Those of you who are riding that wave, then you want to be able to look around and appreciate and absorb this like nectar of evolutionary capacity. Mm. You're getting a tincture of evolutionary juice. You want to absorb that. And to do that, you got to be wide open in the front of your body. You got to Mm. breathe deeply existence. And you got to say yes to what your soul and mind come into unity around. That's the essence. That's the warrior and sage. Action from a place of soul and mind unity. Wow. And so, so let's talk about this for a second here, Satyan. It's about like the sage, right? The wisdom, the intuition. And I know sometimes when I, you know, I'm sure you've worked with people and they said, but Satyan, I, I, I don't feel anything. I don't, I don't get a hunch. You know, I don't know. I can't listen to my intuition because it's not there. Right. How can people. Bullshit. Everyone <laughs> has that's total bullshit. That's bullshit. Everyone has those intuitions or hunches. What the bullshit is, is the not listening to it. Mm-hmm. Not a, It's squashing it down. It may not be verbal. It could be the fact that your back is aching mm-hmm. all the time. It could be the fact that you, you're waking up and you've got no energy. It could be the fact that you're, like, just, you're doing shit that you know is just shitty. Mm-hmm. That's your message. It doesn't have to come in the form of, uh, 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 a fucking text or some 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 disease knocking on your door. Yeah, we yeah. have to catch it earlier. We have to be able to be wise and tap into the sage, tap into the feminine essence within us, which is the is the 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 awareness of the comfort of our soul. Mm. And so, if we start orienting away from the comfort of adulation what we're looking for adulation, the comfort of being seen, the comfort of being acknowledged. If we pull away from that, which is a form of self-importance, 
We're trying to feed the self-importance machine in us. The ego, right? I don't like to call it ego because, you know, like, I've never found an ego. I've only found <laughs> individuals. Ego uh, yeah. is an extrapolated idea. A devil will replace with some deeper, some new psychological term. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. for me, it's really, there's no ego. There's really our choice. Mm -hmm. And if we as a warrior sage claim that choice, it's here right now. And that's to feel. What is the comfort of my soul? And mm -hmm. if it's not comfortable, then you've got to honor that. You've got to love that. You've got to embrace that. And, and you've got to start feeling the comfort of your soul as the main source of your navigation through personal and business life. Mm -hmm. It's opposite to our conditioning. And yet it's paramount for not only our survival, but for us to thrive in a modern way that makes us unique, makes our architecture of our life unique. We're at a place where we can create unique lives. You know, when I work with, I work with CEOs and leaders and, and people who are making differences who have big missions. Mm -hmm. That's my joy is to turn light up their mission and keep them on it and awaken it and make it so it comes easy to them, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and what I found is, is all of us leaders, all of us, you're a leader, Everyone who's listening is the leader because we got to start with our lives, right? Mm -hmm. The leader within us is the one that slows down. If you look at some of the greatest leaders on the planet, they slow down like Gandhi, like Martin Luther King, Mahatma Gandhi. These people, they step back away. And there's many female ones. There's so many, so many leaders that step back from the craziness of the emotional masses. Mm -hmm. And they pulled away like... Neo pulls away from the matrix yeah. and then tune in. What is the comfort of my soul and my mind? Once we start making that more of a priority, then my friend, um, as Bruce Lee said, then you, you get to be one with your opponent. You get to be one with your icons. You get to be one with life rather than fight it. Mm. This is interesting, Satya. This is interesting. And so let me ask this question here, right? Because this, this is something that's popping in my head right now. It's like you say, let's get comfortable with the soul, right? So what does that mean? Does that mean like there are times where we're going to have to go against the grain? There are times where we're going to not enjoy who we are or, or like get, give us an example of what it means to be yes. comfortable so with for example, So there's the comfort of the soul and mind. If I'm taking on a business adventure, venture, and I feel not comfortable here with a, a person that I'm doing possible a transaction of value with. Mm -hmm. My mind may say, well, the numbers look good. There's a high profitability yeah. potential here. My mind may, my accounting mind, my business mind may have many check marks. But if my soul is not in congruence, mm -hmm. I can tell from a feeling. I'm telling you the hard way. I've lost, you know, I've lost a lot of money. I remember a deal that my wife felt her soul and mine wasn't in, uh, she felt that this guy that I was doing a deal with was not, um, she didn't know what it was, trustable. And I was like, forget it. We need that this, this guy has all these. And I was not listening to my comfort in here. Hmm. When I did that, inevitably, within a few weeks, this person took, you know, 700K from me. <laughs> That's a right? big lesson, eh? expensive, very le nice lesson. I, I got a high return on that lesson because what I did was from now on, whenever I'm doing transactions of high, net, you know, high value with individuals or companies or what I do is, is I'm feeling for the unity hmm. of my mind and soul. Not just my mind, not just my soul. Because what if my soul feels yes, but my mind's going, hold on a sec, you haven't, like, how do you, there has to be a unity. Yep. And before that, don't move. Not moving is not a danger. The danger is moving when they're not aligned. Yes. yes. The resting, the resting in the sage, the meditation, the contemplation, the lowering of importance of the very thing that we're going after that's causing us tension. When we dial down the importance, we can start listening. And when we listen, we will find the power of our true warrior sage, the power of the true leader, which is, which is fucking inherent in all of us. Really. 
Yeah. And it just needs a chance. It needs a chance to be watered and add sunshine and valued, and then its voice to be given power. It's powerful. That's huge. And I'm just sitting here, I'm just like in awe, right? And I'm like, that's such, such an amazing way of putting it. And one, one question then, Satyan, is like, do you feel that if, if, if your mind and your, your heart, right, and the soul need, be, need to be aligned, are there times where you, you probably like hold back and you, I don't know, like some people, like I used to be an overthinker, right? I think and think and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait and wait, wait, right? It, can you actually overdo it so that you're like, uh, has, it's not 100% there in my mind yet? Yes, you can. That's an extreme. Yes, you can go to an extreme. And if you are doing that, stop it. <laughs> <laughs> stop uh, it. Uh. <laughs> That's it. We don't need complication. You know, what I've discovered, you know, in my work is, is that when the charge, right, is removed out of our system, mm -hmm. then there's a natural inherent connection to the Tao, the universal flow of life, mm. the, the vein of, of no struggle. Yeah. It takes effort. Life does take effort. Anyone who tries to share and tell you there's no effort in life is full of shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Okay, or, or full of shit, broke, or going nowhere. Simple, simple as that. But someone, but you know, as one of my mentors, Stuart Weil said, he said, life is not meant to be a struggle. And that struggle is nothing, effort, so struggle is effort laced with negative emotion. Yep, yep. So we, I've been working on perfecting ways to remove the aberration, the negative emotion from our state of being. So that's been my passion. And I've had some very profound breakthroughs in my own personal life just in the last few years mm. you know i thought i was doing well and I, and I have been doing well in my and i've had my challenges like anyone else ups and downs in businesses i've grown multi-million dollar companies in the human potential world and my and i and i've also shrunk right down and have let go of multi-million dollar companies knowing it was time for me to take another evolutionary leap and to come back home i call it come back to the inner temple Come yeah. back to the cage, come back to the, the, the Shaolin temple, clean up, get strong, find what your next purpose is, eat well, drink good water, surround yourself by good company, and lessen company, remove yourself from the freneticness of life a little. Mm. Find that sanctuary of the sage. Then when you come out, like Gandhi did, Gandhi would... Uh, Mahatma Gandhi would remove himself from all the craziness that's happening in this country, going through all types of, you know, um, you know, turmoil and challenges. He would pull himself away once a week in silence. Even people would say, we need you to speak now today. Sorry, it's my day of silence. Imagine a man like that pulling away when so much of him is needed. Mm. He felt it important enough valuable enough to go to his sanctuary depth is where the juice is and once your generation millennial generation once you guys reclaim depth as an honorable thing to grasp to move towards not just bling for a lack of a better word yeah yeah not just position but depth so that's what my invitation and challenge is, is that I, I know that each of us have an inherent leader that has great depth mm. and the soul is the seat of our depth. Mm. And that's where um, our greatest decisions, choices, and our greatest gift is and is sourced and is at the root. Man, that... That just like you spoke straight to me, man. And it's so true, right? In this generation, it's so much of the give it to me now, Satyan. Why can't I have it now, right? And the, it's, it's the shallowness, right? And that's why you, you describe it as the bling. Right? It's like, let me show you this. Look at my life, Satyan. I got this. I got this, right? Instead of like, let's, let's just be patient. Let's just go deeper, right? Because that's... When the world is showing their power, mm -hmm. pull away and go into silent power. When that all falls away, 
you'll be walking right by them smiling. <laughs> and then they'll feel that power, right? They just feel that power coming out of you. And the ones oscillating at a higher level of frequency, success, financial capacity, mm -hmm. they will want to meet with you because they've earned that from being more resolute and pulling away from the mass emotional attachments mm. and the, carve their own path. Mm. And those who have done that will respect you even more. They'll be able to feel that intangible where the shallow people or the shallow mindset, the nervous mindset based on all that bombardment cannot feel. Mm. Wow. Such an I'm just like, yeah. Shall, we go there? Shall we go there as a whole and, and, and enter space collectively of this depth and turn on some uh, very powerful uh, uh, oneness uh, energy within us? Satyan, you know you don't need to ask me that question. Let's head in there, man. Let's go. Okay, let's do it. So I'm going to invite everyone here. This is about forging forward, forging ahead, right? Oh, yeah. So let's see who in your life and everyone I'm going to invite because what we're going to do is I'm going to guide everyone through an accelerated evolution process. And what this process does, it, we're going to find our icon, someone that we value, someone that we respect is a, is a, a penultimate leader. They have soul, they have heart, they have truth, they have magnificence, magnanimousness, whoever that is to you. I want everyone to pick that person. And I want you to, you're going to be able to, I want you to find a situation or see them in their glory. I want you to zero in on the exact quality that you aspire or wish to be at one within yourself. Mm -hmm. So we're going to become one with this person, with that essence by the end of this process. And how it's going to work is I'm going to get you to choose your icon. We'll do that in a moment. Yep. And then we're going to feel them fully in the moment of their magnificence, displaying this character trait you wish to absorb and become one with it. Then I'm going to say, let go of that and feel yourself in your greatness, in your best moment, and you'll feel that fully. Then you'll let go of that. Then I'll say, feel your icon again, let go of that, and we're going to go faster, back and forth. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to say, feel both at the same time, and take a deep breath in and out. And share with me what's happening between the two. And you're going, to be, you're going to be sharing for everyone here. And those of you who are at home or wherever you're listening or experiencing this, just share into the space. And don't just listen to this. Really, we can make a quantum shift in our consciousness like right now. All right? So at the end of this, it'll be harder and harder as we go through this to find a difference between you and your icon. And then at the end, you won't find a difference. It'll be that quality will be, hey, I have that quality within myself too. It'll be a knowing that's beyond intellect. Oh, I'm excited. Let's get this rolling. Okay, let's do it. Who is your icon of choice, That an, a leader that represents to you? Hmm. We've talked about him before already, Satyan. It's Bruce Lee. <laughs> I love Bruce Lee. So I'm going to join you in that, okay? All right, let's do this. So everyone at home, pick your icon who's a leader. And we're going to dive right in. And to do this well, bring your full dedication, your imagination, and embody both sides, meaning feel it in your body. And to the degree you feel it, the more maximum you feel it, the greater the integration will be. Mm -hmm. And then that's it. And I'll guide you through. We'll go, it'll take no more than about five to nine minutes maximum, okay? All right, let's let's go. So let's feel our icon fully. Feel them fully. See them in a moment of power, moment of great leadership. And then whatever comes up, just say something about it into the space around you. I'm me, nothing else. So feel Bruce Lee, feel Bruce Lee. Mm -hmm. Feel him at his most magnificent. And then say something about it. I just do what's right. For me, what's coming up is, is I just feel this fire explosion in my heart, chest, power. Okay, let go of that. Let that slip away. And now enter the experience of you 
at your best, or just you sitting here in this here and now moment, whatever is better. Feel yourself fully in this here and now moment. And then say something about that. I'm just grounded. Excellent. Feel Bruce Lee once again, the quality that inspires you in the position and everyone who's at home, feel your icon, whoever you dig at their best, magnify whatever you're experiencing and then say something about it into the space. I'm always ready. Let go of that and now feel yourself in this here and now moment. And then say something about that. I'm feeling ready. Excellent. Once again, feel Bruce Lee or your chosen icon in the moment of their highest expression of leadership. Feel that fully. And then say something about it. Total love of, of art and, and expression. Love expression. Be like water, my friend. Okay, let's let go of that side and feel everyone, feel yourself fully sitting here, dial into you, get a sense of yourself fully, and then say something about that. I will not be shifted. I am here now, grounded. I am. Okay, now, this is going to be interesting. I want you to feel your icon, so Bruce, and yourself at the same time. Why don't you take a deep breath in and out? What's happening between the two? It's so interesting. It's like I'm seeing that huge tree that I said I am and, and I'm just surrounded by this flowing river and it's like, it's like being grounded but also fluid at the same time. Excellent. Okay, we're going to do this whole thing again even faster this time. So let's isolate just Bruce Lee, find your icon, find who you really admire and dive in and feel them fully in the moment of their power. Total relaxed and cat like, but ready to ready to fun to fun fun. Okay, feel let go of that side, and now feel your self in this here and now moment. Totally feel yourself. And then say something about that into the space. It's okay where you're at. It's okay where you're at. Present alert. Feel your icon fully in the moment hour. Choose any moment. Could be a different one. Moment of their powerful leadership. Feel it fully. In fact, dramatize that feeling. Magnify it. And then say something about it into the space. Don't think. Just do. Just do. Oh. Now feel yourself once again. And say something about that. It's clear. It's like in being in a forest. Feel your icon again. Magnify it. Knows him, knows himself.
pushes himself, challenges himself. I would never stop. Excellent. Okay, let's feel both at the same time. Our icon and our self at the same time. Why don't we take a deep breath in and out? Are they becoming closer together? Blending, merging? Tell me, what are you experiencing? What's happening between the two? Just share it into the space. It's like I'm on a tree and I just feel like, like when you watch Bruce move and he's just like in that ready state of fluidness and it's not stiff, it's, it's grounded, but it's flexible. And oh, it's, it's like being, a, like I say, an oak tree, but as flexible as bamboo at the same time and yes. just ready for it, just ready to go. Excellent. We're going to do this one more time. We're going to go fast. So everyone stay with me, stay focused. This will be the last time. It'll be just like a couple of minutes. So bring in your dedication, your focus, and feel your icon, your, your ultimate leader fully. And say something about them. A legacy, just his dedication, leaving a legacy. I'm just being me. I'm not a leader. I'm just a light in the darkness. Feel yourself in this here and now moment. Fully. And then say something about it. There's a fire here. Grounded truth, dedicated as well. Feel your icon fully. Immortal yet mortal. You say something about it in the space. I don't care what they say. I do what's right. Feel yourself once again. Mortal and immortal. You go ahead and say something about it. You're free. Feel your icon once again. Truth. And feel yourself once again. And say something about it. Fear just means I'm alive. This will be the last integration, so feel yourself and your icon at the same time. Take a deep, slow breath in and out. And share what's happened between the two. It's like he's inside. It's like a dragon just ready to go in that stance and just... Yeah. Yeah. Expand that out infinitely. Many of you have become one with your icon, so expand that out. And let me ask you, what's good about this state? What's good about knowing this, that you are one, that that's, that one is within you, you are in that one? What's good about that for you, Richard? It's just faith. It's just power there in me. It's like this dark, there is no darkness. It's just, and if there is, it's okay that it's okay to be fearful, but it, use it to drive me, use it to go forward. Just face it, stare it down and 
don't, don't lose eye contact with it, just own it. What's good about this for others? I'm an example. I get to just be me and lead through example. And it just gravitates. And it's like a fire in darkness that attracts people to you because it's cold outside that you're the warmth. You are, you're the light in the darkness. And please, those of you at home, you share too into this space. And what's valuable about this for you? For you, what's valuable about this? That Bruce Lee lives within me. That I am flexible, that I am courageous, I am him. everything. Excellent. Excellent. And what's, what did you learn from this? That I have the traits, that it's there, that I can be as strong and grounded like an oak tree, but flexible as a bamboo and ready to go and always ready, always ready. Excellent. And the last thing I'm going to ask is, what are we going to do to make this put into action, to make this an actuality? What's one action that you will hold yourself to, to ground this state of consciousness that you're in? I just go yeah, out the anchor is Yeah, go out there, right? Yeah, just go out there. Just, oh, just fucking do, right? Uh-huh. Don't hesitate. Just do. If it feels, feel that fear, and then it's like, all right, this is this is this good stuff right here. This is magic happens here. Oh, uh-huh. excellent! Now let's all celebrate together. Well yeah. done. Ooh. Well done. Yeah. Well done. Well done. Thank you. You're welcome. You're oh, welcome. Man. And well done for all of you at home and those of you who are experiencing this. Congratulations. That's not going to go away. That oneness between you and your icon will always be there. Now your job is to nourish it and feed it and start stepping into a new direction. Well done. Aho. <laughs> Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. Wow, Sachin. That, that was awesome, man. That and how do we nourish it just to continue to live through the yes. values that we just instilled? Exactly. Take one action from this state. Do that one action. It'll lead you to the next. Mm. It's the action that grounds it. Mm. Oh, man. Love it, man. Love it. And I'm just looking at the time, Satyan, and I'm like, wow, man. I know we've gone over a little bit, and it's time for us to wrap up. I don't want to wrap up, but I just want to keep going. But we'll make it a part two maybe another time, right? And so, Sachin, as we wrap up, we just go into this quick fire questions around here. And I want to ask you, our signature one here is that what we call the time travel moment, where if you could go back to any moment in your life, Sachin, 10, 15, 20 years, whatever it is, you could go talk to little Sachin, right? What's the one piece of advice you would give him and when would you go back to? Hmm. I would go back to when I first entered my uh, Kung Fu school temple when I was young. Mm-hmm. I had a lot of, I didn't believe in myself. I was really nerdy. I, I was terrified of being in front of a crowd and saying anything or anything like this would like, I'd be like shitting my pants. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so I would tell my young Satyan, you can do it. You will, you will grow into being a, uh, a, uh, 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 conscious powerful leader for other people believe in yourself i would i would tell him that oh, amazing man amazing and next question i have for you satyan is this is a really important one for the men out there right because in the modern world we're living in satyan i feel that there's a huge gap between where the modern world's at and where the modern world needs the men to be at right and what do you think is the one thing that modern men need to take in and start applying so that they can, we can start be, to fill up that gap and become the modern man that the world needs us to be? We need presence. We need, that's our PCP, model, which is presence, claim, mm-hmm. and execution, meaning penetration into the world. The most important thing is we need to have a mission to claim as our own. Mm-hmm. A mission, a purpose to own, to be bold with, to own. And when we, it doesn't matter what it takes to find it. Even if your mission becomes, I don't even know where to start. Make your mission. I'm going to start finding what my mission is. Make your mission to find your mission for real. Not just as a mental trick, but for real. 
Yeah. Remember, the best way to find it is away from the morass of the mass emotionality and to get away into nature and to, like I said, what we just did today, this accelerated evolution, relax your mind and then listen. And then I promise you in three days or less, you'll get clarity, more clarity. Oh, amazing, man. Amazing. And just two questions left here, Satyan. Now, I want to ask you, right? You talk about getting on that mission, talk about you know, getting clear with it. What is it? What's it mean to be on your true purpose? How would you describe that? For me, mm. it's I feel into what is the effect I need to make in others' lives that when I see it, I could go, I could die on the spot. Yeah. In other words, what must I do in order to live and die completely without regret? Mm. You ask that and you start journaling or chat to go on a walk with another friend, another close uh, companion, someone that you can talk to and you talk about that. What must we, what must I do in order to live completely, die completely without regret? What's the, what's the gift that I want to bring forth or deepen or take to another level of art or another level of reach or another level of empowerment. You may, you may already have found it, but now you're feeling, okay, it needs to be galvanized, articulated, architectured to be even more powerful. Mm. Who knows? Whatever that is, what, what, what's that gift have to be so that if you see the effect in other people's lives, you would go, yeah, that's how you find your purpose. Oh, man, that's epic, man. This just keeps building on top of itself, Satya. And I'm loving it, man. I'm loving it. And the last one here. I've had a lot of tough life lessons. <laughs> All right. So I'm just yeah. telling you that. <laughs> I love it. That's why we're here, man. We're just extracting that the best way we can. And the last question I have for you, Satya, is you know, if you had 30 seconds left to live, right, you're surrounded by your family, your wife, the people that you've impacted, people you've worked with and changed their lives in the world. What's the message you'd leave them with? That's it. That's it. Beautiful man. No need, no more, no more need to add to the noise to the masses. Just, just be. Love it, Satyan man. Thank you so much, brother, for coming on. I really appreciate it. It's an honor to have you on here. And so, if they want to learn more about yourself and your work, where's the best place they should go to? My website is warriorsage.com, and there, these two things I talked about: Accelerated Evolution Academy. So those of you who have an interest to in your helpers, your professional, um, you're accomplished at coaching or you're a physician or a therapist or you're a guide or you're a helper, that's the thing to check out there at warriorsage.com. And if you're a leader that is feeling, okay, you know what? You want to go to the next level of your evolutionary leap, then there's the awakened leader um, information you can find there as well at warriorsage.com. Amazing, Satya. And once again, thank you, man. Absolute honor to have you on. We're going to have your other half on next week as well. So I'm excited for that. So looking forward to that. You're going to have fun with her. She's amazing. I can't wait, man. I can't wait. And so, guys, this wraps up another episode of the Forge Your Life podcast today with the man from the East meeting the West. Right, the accelerated evolutionist Satyan Raja. Make sure you head over to iTunes to rate the show so that we can get Satyan's message out there. He doesn't want to keep it a secret. I don't want to keep it a secret. This must go out. So head on over there. And of course, go to richardfood.com for the show notes and all the resources that Satyan has shared here with us today. And of course, remember to go out there, go live with love and go smash it. And I'll see you again in the next one.